I've listened to the concerns raised about the scrutiny. And as you pointed out earlier, Mr Speaker, there have been times when this pandemic has challenged us all, and we have not been able to do this as well as we would have liked. I therefore propose that we change the approach to bringing in urgent measures, and I'm very grateful to all colleagues who we've worked with to come forward with a proposal that will allow us to make decisions and implement them fast, yet also ensure that they are scrutinised properly. Today, I can confirm to the House that for significant national measures with effect in the whole of England or UK-wide, we will consult Parliament wherever possible we will hold votes before such reg regulations come into force. But of course, responding to the virus means that the government must act with speed when required, and we cannot hold up urgent regulations which are needed to control the virus and save lives. I am sure that no member of this House would want to limit the government's ability to take emergency action in the national interest as we did in March, and we'll continue to involve the House in scrutinising our decisions in the way my right hon friend the Prime Minister set out last week with regular statements and debates and the ability for members to question the government's scientific advisers more regularly, gain access to data about their constituencies and join daily calls with my right hon friend the Paymaster General. And I hope these new arrangements will be welcomed on all sides of the House and I will continue to listen to colleagues' concerns as I've tried my best to do so throughout.